Hey, welcome back to my channel, this is Crow, and we're playing some more Genshin Impact on the PS5. So, we're trapped inside of the main, so I have no choice but to continue this portion of the story. And there's a giant boat floating in the sky. Also, we're inside Rukadafata's remaining consciousness, so everything in here is corrupted. Okay, that's uh, a little bit concerning, but... That should be fine. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Uh, any chests? Nope. So we'll just pop over here. And we'll... Wrong character. Uh, yeah, I'm screwing up a little bit. I mean, helps if I actually healed, but... Uh, okay. We'll do that. Oh. Right. We've just got to quickly land so we can the drop the hills. Just to help us out. Right. Here we go. And we'll do that. We'll do this. Net them again. And that should help. Oh, that's a lot of monsters. I was getting confused for a second. Um, yeah, it's going to have electro resistance, but we've got Dendro. To control the boat of yeah. Princesses, we need to find the helm first. Up there? Yeah, it'll probably be up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. And now we're sailing. We changed direction. Are we still going the right way, Nahida? Hopefully. Mm -hmm. I, uh, okay. Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. Do you know what this is making me think of? Moon Knight, the Marvel series, the the one with the hippo, who who guided the souls to the afterlife. That's a pretty scene. Yeah, it's like the Ferry of Lost Souls. We'll be arriving at our destination mm -hmm. soon. That How tree looks feeling? terrible. Are your minds still intact? Hmm. Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. You're a little bit special. I'm a little bit curious as to what Paimon actually is. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Okay, Are hopefully, you fingers crossed. You've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? Uh. No. Mm, okay. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Reincarnation? Otherwise, I think Regeneration? she would have given me a little more guidance. Rejuvenation? Could Maybe. Have done a better job. Hey, okay, interesting. You did a great job, Nahida. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. And the boat sets off. So, is this the place you were talking about? Ah! The base of Ermansoul? Ermansoul! We, we're here again, and we're still inside the domain, so... There's not a lot we can do. Ah, oh, this looks pretty. I like it when there's no user interface. I can hear a voice well, in my headphones. This is the place. Okay. It's the same place from memories. I We've been here we're before. We're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? Yeah. But and the point you're trying to make? standing over there is... Nahida? Is that... Mm -hmm. She looks exactly like Wait. me. Is it possible Are that Nahida's the vessel of Ruka Devata, or... Yes. Do they share the same vessel? Okay. Are you surprised by my appearance? I'm a bit surprised. Yeah. Ermansoul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they mm. were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. Right. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're... Same nature? the same nature. Although she's more glowy why? than you. Because you are me. And I am you. 
Oh. You are me in the new samsara. The new reincarnation. The new samsara. As great Cycle of life and Vata, rebirth. I'm the yeah. avatar of Ermansoul. And you are the purest branch snapped from Ermansoul. Oh, okay. Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow, continuing the tree's life in another form. I'm oh, interesting. The okay. Consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. I wonder if this is, uh, this should be the same voice actress. I actually kind of hmm. prefer this voice. Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for five hundred years. You look exactly the same. How can you tell? Here. My new self in the samsara. Mhm. Mm so this is the connection between you two. If this is true, then am I? Going to be a great archon like you someday? Though we share the same nature, mm -hmm. our fates are bound to be different. All things have their own fate. A when new incarnation, a new life, and fate. Tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. Mm -hmm. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? So, in a sense, I guess Nahida is also Rukadafata's daughter. Yes, very good. The second it's generation of Rukadafata. Why you won't become like me? Mm -hmm. Really? But oh, you see a little bit. You may become an even greater archon than I. I already see it. I know. I'm distracted by the voices in the background. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. alone what is what is, what is that voice in the background? Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. Mm. You only need to wait quietly for the flower She'll to definitely bloom. become a great archon. She just needs it. time to grow. The sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you. got too self-absorbed. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the archon I always admired was in fact myself in another fate. A previous incarnation. It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Rukadevata. I've always wanted to meet you. Mm-hmm. The feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermin's soul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. Like a mother wanted to speak to her child. Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? And what exactly happened I, when I died? I thought from a lot of the cutscenes, Rick and Fata would uh, look like an I adult. See. You're here seeking answers, Unless right? she regressed her form, or they... Because they're the same person... Day. She's just a reflection Even of the, the current Nahida. Itself changed into a color like this. At that time, ah. the seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Except for me. Oh. I had a more important task to attend to. Okay. I had to protect Erminsoul. Okay. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Erminsoul. You said something was wrong. Something was wrong. The pain oh, this is a deep lore drop. Mind. By the time I reached Ermansoul, mm -hmm. it was already displaying signs of corruption. Okay. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So you had pr prior so what experience. Exactly is forbidden knowledge. It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world. Hence the word forbidden, but... And a form of truth that can't be understood. Okay. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand I, I wonder it. if this is connected the to Honkai Third Impact, as well as Star Rail. Leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we Maybe this is just a simulation. <laughs> within one of I those other games. I'm afraid the entirety of Tavat could fall apart. Hmm. So... There's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? It's knowledge that At they that shouldn't time, know, I guess. I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone. Okay. Which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. Right. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Though uh, it was selfish is it not? to do so, I borrowed people's dreams using the Akasha. 
Mm -hmm. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. Well, oh, that's so distracting, that work? voice in the background. I'm guessing Rook of the Phantom might be Sumeru, almost a lot more was from combat Arkansas. capable than the Hida. But things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. Mm -hmm. I had a terrible headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. And she was corrupted. I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with her and soul. Mm -hmm. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. Oh, that's From bad. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh, oh dear. No. How could that happen? That means she experienced that she would pain be dying. Of consciousness. Okay. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes. But, my but you must remain important. pure. The important thing was that... Mm -hmm. Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermin's soul. As, as memory and knowledge, and yeah. Knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden... Oh, so you can't delete everything as long as traces of Rukka the Father remain. And so... There's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. Would it? So is it a paradox? I took the is it a paradox? branch of Irma yeah. Soul as my incarnation in the next mm -hmm. samsara, and left a trail of clues. In your next reincarnation All in cycle. that you would come here, and remove me and my pollution. Wait, but wouldn't that Irma cause a paradox? Wait. Although I guess she's already incarnated, so. <laughs> no, but that's still a paradox. <laughs> so you realize what that implies. You are very smart indeed. But then again... <sighs> Ermin's soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And I don't know. Would that be a paradox? Now, you're, you're basically me from soul erasing your previous self. I essentially will never have existed in this world. No, that, that's a paradox. This is the only way to save Ermin's soul. People love you so much and... I mean, it's one thing to erase all records, so but... the past 500 years... I don't know. I, I am exactly the same. So how, how can we just forget you like this? Is yeah, Nahida would just end me? up. Even if she is a reincarnation, you can't can erase your previous incarnation. Your previous incarnation is part of you, even if you're you two separate no incarnations way. now. But I don't know. This is interesting. But this, this is so cruel. You know, I would be a really emotional, but I'm just so triggered by this paradox. Nah, it's definitely a paradox. How can you erase yourself, but yet yourself still exists? Let the world completely forget me. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth, and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness.
I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. I don't know what to say. So... I'm alright. I'm, I'm just a little confused. So nobody can remember to get far today. We've just saved the world, right? I guess this is a little bit like so Avatar Korra. Why am I crying? You, you, break the, you break the cycle. You you erase the past and break the connection, but... I don't know where this feeling You continue to exist. Now. I guess she is like the Avatar. ...to successfully connect with the Ermin Soul Consciousness mm -hmm. from 500 years ago. Then... Mm -hmm. We removed the remaining pollution... Oh, we can remember the Rukutafata! That makes sense, because we're outsider. Yeah. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Uh, Paimon doesn't remember, so that's interesting. Hmm. No, because that would probably, that would introduce forbidden knowledge. Rukutafata would be forbidden knowledge. Okay, that's... That's not good. What's going on? Are we being attacked? Yeah, it feels like we're being attacked. Okay, so what's happening now? Okay, I can't even hit X to move the story along. Huh? That sound... Yep, Traveler. we're Come knocked on. out. I've been waiting here far too long. But finally, I have the chance to be alone with you. The Doctor. All the precious time I wasted has finally... What incarnation off. of Doctor Who is this? The Doctor. <laughs> what have you done? The Doctor. Just a type of sound wave that can quickly mm -hmm. put defenseless people into a dream. Yeah. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. This what are you going to do? Knock her out and I kidnap her? Among the sages' research, I thought I'd take it for a little... Spin. Unless you can do the same as um, what? I know you would never forgive me if I actually. I, I I completely forgotten her name, but the flame witch lady. I'm here to negotiate. Signora, yeah. Naturally, if, if you could do the I same thing as Signora and just brush your hand into. damage our I just realized the terrible phrasing of that. But me? you know, do what she Sumeru. did to Fenty and stick her hand now? into. I left Sumeru, the Archon and but pull out the Gnosis. Yeah, no, no matter how I phrase that, that just sounds wrong. Is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean there are many different versions of you in this world? An astute guess. The first doctor, the second doctor, third doctor, Even fourth the same doctor. individual will have different cognitions at different uh, times. It does sound like Doctor ago, it Sounds like somebody's been watching a lot of Doctor Who of at home first. All my perspectives of how I observed the world. Okay. Observation is the first step mm -hmm. of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't yeah. satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension, that of time. So oh. I saved segments of all my ages okay. and made them into independent individuals. Hmm. That's all there is to it. Different incarnations you know, of the Doctor. Sounds the like Doctor Who, the Time Lord. Of seeking knowledge. You know, it's you may as well call him God of Time. Of life. life inherently is it? has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance yeah. and reason to exist. They can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> but he did. Good. He's done it. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves. Not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the academia, why wait until Oh, you're I just thought of something. It might be a bit similar to Biakaron from Hitman Reborn. 
he he exists across the X axis, I think. He he, 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 he exists horizontally along the time axis. It was my so there's different parallel so worlds or different parallel timelines. And each version of him exists across them? Yeah. Hmm. You, you really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. Chances How are, he's your own god, if he exists at different still take the same points stance? in time, would you still hold the same view of yourself? There would be a different version I'm of him that would scholar. that wouldn't have, you know, these had to deal with it. Should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me yeah. confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why so I'm another version of him would of this he would just shift this main consciousness to a version of him that you doesn't have, have to deal with it. You seem to have even fewer convictions than I, I don't know. I, I'm just making this up as I go along. Oh no, I certainly have my uh -huh. own convictions. They just don't fit your standards. That's uh -huh. all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. The Gnosis. For example, the Gnosis. Of course. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, I don't know. You have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. But does he even have any combat <laughs> abilities? <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. Mm -hmm. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your Sounds like you're mocking us. Your built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What you just if can't hand over I the gnosis. To destroy the gnosis now and awaken the heavenly principles. Oh, awaken the heavenly principles. Hmm. He's curious. Do you think that's really possible. The oh, we never know unless we try. Been silent for many years, but the gnosis are symbols of their control over to that and all the laws. Mm -hmm. Will the destruction of a gnosis attract the attention of the heavenly principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Your hair is clipping into your do chest. Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? Oh. <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. Mm -hmm. The word gamble is the last thing Because she doesn't I know what will happen if she destroy it. God of wisdom. I'll be impressed if she can destroy this it. This is a clever move. Hmm. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. Okay. As a scholar, Where are we going? I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed, I like the feathers on this back. I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what so are is your he hydro or cryo? This foreign gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays mm -hmm. in Sumeru. But this electronosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow harbingers. Right. Now, now she is in possession of two. As the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? And what's the corresponding price? price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? So it, it's How an exchange. She's bargaining with him. <laughs> so she came this to bargain. is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Yeah. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require yeah. extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision. All of his time remnants, part. basically. Yes. How very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Mm. Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. 
If it weren't me, your idea sounds a bit like Kang the Conqueror. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like oh. you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being Too many versions of him. Are, have you managed to do that? <laughs> no, they probably argued with one another. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. But won't you be able to create new ones? You sure didn't hesitate much. Yeah. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? Yeah, across the timeline. I don't think need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a gnosis. Do you think ah, unless all other versions of him price. fail to tame the Gnosis. With my That's why this version of him is willing to give them up if they get their hands on the Gnosis. Possibly. Perhaps it's best to say, if I've got this right, if multiple versions ahead, of him exist across the timeline, like all of them right now are trying to attain the Gnosis, but they can't. So really only this version of him them. can. I can see oh. your remaining honesty. Okay. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short-sighted? You think that this is the end? Sense. Wait, I'll have a little bit. You'll make Good this riddance. moment count. You, you will regret this. Well... Have you confirmed that it's complete? Interesting that there are different yeah. voices. It's like Take different it. versions of the Doctor. The of City will be in yeah, uh, as in Doctor Who with his different incarnations. Shut down the they each have different the voices. I wonder if they have different appearances. The knowledge, drive the realm of academics once again. Hmm. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It Maybe he does regenerate like the Doctor. My academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Hmm. Of course... I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And he's banished, okay. And where is your dendronosis? You're getting a little bit greedy. Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. Mm -hmm. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru. Is and it's there? dangerous gathering all the Besides, Gnosis in one place. Isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Mm -hmm. Oh. Judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the God of Wisdom... Another bargain. How about I exchange some knowledge with you? Interesting. People exchanging knowledge with the God of Wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the God of Wisdom's property. The forbidden Arrogant kind. As that is, it has piqued my interest. Uh, Let me ask you. Okay, you she's... Mighty knowledge ever the intellectual the type's that weakness. The skies of Tevat are fake. The skies of the fat are fake. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth. The forbidden knowledge. Wait, how do you retain? Wait, does the doctor retain knowledge of the forbidden knowledge? Once I finish telling you about this, mm. it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. She's now I'm searching her glad I got to meet database like to this. find the answer. Your arrogance may know no bounds. Mm. And convictions may mean nothing to you, but I'll still listen to what you have to say. Okay, so we're about to learn the truth of this world? Of course not. Yeah, secrets and dark truth flows to the mind of, of the wise, then everything falls silent. Hey, thank you for watching the live video. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. It really does help me out. If you haven't already done so, you can also hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. That way you will get updates for when I upload my new videos or follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Kuroaki Games where I occasionally stream my raw gameplay videos on there or some content that isn't on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Kuroaki Games, and I will see you guys soon.